Hey Scorpio, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. There's an odd card mixed up in here. Hold on one sec. Okay, great. Uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I really do. This is going to be your monthly. Oh no, I'm sorry, weekly. I don't know why I keep saying monthly. I think it's because it's the first week of the month. All right, so it's for March, but it's only for the first five days of March because I like my um, weekly readings to go Sunday to Saturday. But since um, the first is on a Tuesday, we're going Tuesday to Saturday, okay? So let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this first week of March 2022? What do we need to know? This reading really could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time you're guided to see it. It's for Scorpio, but it's for anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else um, who's guided to watch the Scorpio reading for whatever reason that they're guided. What do we need to know? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the most accurate messages possible to the people who need them the most one more shuffle all right let's do it this is the uniquely crazy tarot of the 78 doors it is a very non-traditional deck it's one of my very favorite decks it's extremely flimsy so it's a little hard to it's funny because it's one of my most expensive decks i've ever bought i bought it from russia um <laughs> But it's also um, one of the best decks I've ever bought. So as flimsy as it is, I still pay that for this deck. <laughs> so let's get into it. Very non-traditional, guys. So stick with me. I'm an intuitive reader. I hope that you appreciate that. If you do not, there's plenty of readers out there that do the traditional by the book reading that you are welcome to entertain yourself with. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for anyone who's guided to see this reading here on YouTube. What do we need to know? Wow. Okay. Wow. That's a toughie. The eight of swords in this deck is a pretty, pretty tough card. All right. This is somebody who's really feeling haunted by something. Scorpio reading. What else do we need to know? Scorpio for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided we have the empress in reverse here what's happening for scorpio reading with the empress in reverse it's like uh this could be about your mom this could be about your grandmother your aunt somebody who's a mother figure or this could be you all right we also have the star reversed we have the two of pentacles reversed and we have the beautiful queen of chalices which uh, i believe cancer had in the same exact spot but hers was reversed theirs was reversed <laughs> yes hers the cancer that one cancer it was hers uh, <laughs> cancer's queen of chalices was reversed what do we need to know for scorpio though what's important Scorpio. Here we go. All right. Sword of truth, man. We're cutting through the BS. All right. I like this. Um, I like this. This is a really cool ace of swords. It's where we cut through the confusion, really. Um, something about the truth is coming out or the clarity is coming. It's more about a card of clarity, I feel, in this deck. Because there could be a lot of confusion going on and then all of a sudden, you know, the hand of spirit, God, universe comes out and says, let me cut through all this confusion. Um, I like it. And right next to that is the Queen of Cups, which is probably your energy, Scorpio. And right next to that, we got the Two of Pentacles reverse. And look at it. It's such a cool card. Love this deck. I truly do. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords. And you see this person is being haunted um, we also have, this is a mental thing, right? We also have this beautiful Empress and I love the Empress in this deck, but she is reversed and we have the star here also in the reverse. All right. So we have something going on with a mother or a mother figure who's going through, through something. She's very up in her head. She's going through, and this star in this deck has a lot of water in it. When I see it reversed, I feel like there's a lot of emotions involved. I also feel like this is someone who is needing to heal from something that is just absolutely haunting them, whatever it is. So when I see this um, Scorpio energy down here at the bottom with the Queen of Chalices and needing to cut through the confusion, and we also need to make some kind of a decision here. Are you making a decision about a mother figure or a mother who's going through something? Let's find out. 
bottom of the deck here we have the six of pentacles i really like this six of pentacles in this deck too they go to the door somebody had just knocked at the door and they come out and look at what's there somebody is you know left all these beautiful packages and presents on their doorstep it's like something getting balanced out but it's anonymous um, it's really nice. I definitely like this card. I'm just looking at the past back here to see what's back here. Really, that's all that's important right now. So there's something getting balanced out. We're coming into the reading with a mother or mother figure or I don't know, somebody who's just haunted by something and you're here trying to make a decision and get clarity on something. All right. Now we have here the, uh, I'm so sorry. I did say, you know, Tarot of the 78 Doors. I think I did say that. I know I said that. Okay. And now we're clarifying with Everyday Witch. Everyday Witch Tarot. All right. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? It's for anyone who's guided here. Anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to see the reading whenever they're guided to see it. Um, these dates and these signs and nothing really even matters when you're guided you're guided right what do we need to know about this reading for anyone who is guided here what are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most please allow me to connect with as many people as possible we're going to do one more shuffle for the Scorpio reading no we're going to do two more shuffles I need one more one more shuffle for the Scorpio reading all right there we go Let's check out the Eight of Swords. What's going on with that Eight of Swords? Queen of Pentacles reversed. This woman came out in the Cancer reading. Remember, I said this was here. And she was reversed and she was going through a hard time financially and people were attacking her. All right, tell me about the Empress reversed. What do we need to know? Empress reversed. Yeah, been through it. Five of chalices this person's grieving they're sad they're lost they're lonely something happened the star here right next to it says they're trying to heal from something tell me about the star reverse this is a lot of emotions and depression even tell me about the star reverse here what do we need to know scorpio reading what's important here wow that's too many just one or two one or two what do we need to know about the star here in the reverse for the scorpio reading what's happening Okay, we got a challenge of the chariot in the reverse. Okay, the cancer card again. You have a lot of cancer. The same things cancer had in their reading, only a little bit different, but the same. Again, we have this cancer energy here. Someone who's definitely been drained. People have been coming at them. They're haunted by something. Something's happening here. Scorpio, you're getting some kind of clarity on this. What do we need to know about this? Let's talk about... Um, Let's talk about the Two of Pentacles reverse. What is this about? Scorpio reading, Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Too many, just one or two. What is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Okay. Okay, wow. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Devil. And we have the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is, should I steal or not? That's what that says. So, Scorpio, I have to say it. You're trying to figure out whether you should take from this woman. And if this is connected to the... Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa. But um, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person or a Libra or a Cancer or a... Um, Aquarius or a Taurus that wants to take from you but I have to be honest this is like a decision being made should I listen to whoever's trying to get me to take from this person um, if this is someone trying to entice you to take from this person be careful because the same energy came through in cancer reading on the opposite end and cancer came out victorious in this so if you're planning on stealing or taking from a cancer please do not not that i think my scorpios would but this is how this almost looks right and now this could be a capricorn trying to take you this could be your mother they're trying to take from so in other words in other words, this isn't, yeah, absolutely isn't my Scorpios, I know that. But somebody here trying to take from this woman could be um, 
another person and this could be your mother tell me about the queen of chalices here it's all going to come out though according if this is related to the cancer reading which it very much feels like it's going to come out tell me about the queen of chalices here because the cancer person is getting very uh, a lot of recognition uh yeah there's information coming out the high priestess here in reverse and look at the queen of chalices this could be you this could be them information coming out about what's going on and um there's a new beginning ace of swords and ace of chalices happening here tell me about this ace of swords something's going to get cleared up tell me about the ace of swords for the scorpio reading what do we need to know about the ace of swords something that's been very confusing getting cleared up ace of swords three of pentacles could be in the it came out reverse this could be three people working together doing something to purposely cause trouble or um, cause a commotion three people here at the bottom as well six of cups reversed and i believe cancer had that as well there was something to do with an unhappy past or people from the past causing trouble um uh, i have to say wow underneath of that there's the five of wands and the queen of wands reversed i'm telling you there's something about people from the past causing trouble for someone i feel like this is your mom scorpio you've got to reach out to me and let me know about this reading i'm going to pull you a couple of um now if this isn't a mother she's like a mother figure she could be an ex-wife or she could be um your current wife even um, but she's coming out more like a mother figure to you in some way. And there's people trying to do something or they're deciding right now whether they're going to steal from her or not. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, some truth is going to come out in this. And these are people working together doing something shady. Angels, what do we need to know about this reading? Like I said, even if you don't know that your mother or someone around you, someone could be your boss, could be anyone, has um, cancer placements, check out the cancer reading anyway, just to look at it, to see if it has anything to do with you or them, okay? So Spirit says there's new energy coming into this uh, situation. It might come in very quickly. Um, spontaneity and where did it go? Birth. All right, new energy coming in quickly. It's going to be a lot better. Tenderness tells me that this energy is going to be a lot less harsh than the last time. Um, and the forgiveness card comes out as well. So somebody in this whole circumstance might have to forgive another person or want to forgive, especially if it's family, right? Let me get one more card here to find out what we need to know about this Scorpio reading. truth all right so somebody here has to be truthful with the other some kind of truth i feel really like a truth is coming out no matter what about a group that was doing something devil energy right they were coming out i don't know where it went but devil energy here it is a group of three doing something to take money they decided to do this and i feel like they're getting caught i really do the truth's going to come out anyway guys let me know about this let me know if you know what part in this something's going to definitely get balanced out for the person that was been taken from um if you could let me know what this is i feel like it involves you it involves cancer and i would very much like it if you guys watch the cancer reading even if you don't know who the cancer is they might come through as a they might be a different sign for you but their cancer energy came through or it's yours even all right, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please do like the video. Don't forget to like. It helps so much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Check out the monthly readings. They're much bigger than these, okay? Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Thanks so much. Bye.